Welcome back to this series of tutorials that will inspire you to explore the new possibilities you get with Mir Pro 3D in the world of immersive surround sound. Our friend Fabio Amuri, an up-and-coming composer and arranger from Italy, working from London, composed a musical theme we called Fabio's theme, and we asked him to use it with different arrangements and instrumentations. All of this happens in immersive surround with a binaural signal that tricks your ears into a 3D audio situation, but only if you have your headphones on. So check out our setup video to find out more about this. You can work with these exact arrangements, Mir Pro 3D and Dear VR Monitor in your own sequencer. So here we are with Fabio's approach on a modern scoring sound and we'll dive right into it. For starters, let's listen to this piece that Fabio has sent us. It's the raw, totally dry track, lacking any room and reverb. It's well written and programmed, but of course there's something very essential missing. Let's single out the timpani. They sound great, but the room is totally absent. For placement of the orchestra in a room, we're using the factory presets we have prepared. We call them Vienna Standards. They include the venue preset, instrument profiles and the so-called roles. We're using them to set up the entire orchestra at Teldex Studio in Berlin. So here we are. Let's listen to the timpani again, this time with the ambience of this scoring stage in stereo. Much better. The timpani are in the back, quite far away from the microphone. Here they are. So let's listen to the fanfare again with all the instruments playing. And remember, this is how it sounded before. Now let's listen to the whole piece in stereo, with the entire orchestra playing on this scoring stage. Okay, so this was great, but what about placing the orchestra in a different hall? Now watch this, I'm just double clicking this venue preset and all of the instruments with a properly assigned role are magically moving to their perfect spots in the large Hall A of Synchron Stage Vienna. Let's compare the two scoring stages. To remind ourselves we're hearing Teldex Studio Berlin again. Now, let's listen to Synchron Stage Vienna. So there's quite a difference. Let's compare this part here again. Finally, let's hear the entire piece in stereo, playing at Synchron Stage Vienna.
So all of this was conventional stereo. Let's develop this example further and move into a 3D space. By double-clicking on the 5.1.4 preset we have prepared and that's included in the demo projects we're providing, we're placing the very same instruments in Hall A of Synchron Stage Vienna again. With different instrument placement. And this time we're using an immersive output channel configuration. It's pre-configured in the factory preset already, but you can find the microphone preset we're using here in the output section of Mir's user interface in the category of 3D Immersive, and we're choosing the 5.1.4 downmix output. Downmix, because it is based on an even larger array of virtual speakers in 7.1.4. We can use the built-in matrix mixer of Mir Pro 3D to access the sonic possibilities of these demanding setups without the high CPU load it would imply. And to be able to listen to 3D audio in your studio that's not equipped with a surround or immersive speaker setup, we're using a plugin that translates the 5.1.4 mix to your headphones. In the output channel, we have inserted DRVR monitor from our friends at Dear Reality. In the input section of DRVR, we have selected the corresponding format to the mere output format we have chosen before in the main microphone pull-down menu. 5.1.4. In the Scene menu of the Control Room section, we're choosing Analytic Dry, which adds realistic speaker crosstalk, but not the ambience of a mix room. So please put on your headphones and listen to this binaural mix. To make it obvious what's happening here, we're using some extreme placements. As an example, let's single out the trumpets. Here they are playing on their perfect spot at Synchron Stage Vienna. Now let's move the ensemble to other places. And now let's turn them around so they are facing the back wall. Finally, let's check out the third dimension. We are placing the trumpets here now and we move them up quite a bit, putting them on some kind of virtual pedestal. And that's the magic and ease of use of Vienna Mir Pro 3D. Let's go back to the full orchestra in 3D. And here we are in the middle, that sphere is the microphone and the string sections are surrounding us. Maestro, raise your baton. Thanks for your attention, your tutorial files are waiting for you in the Vienna Assistant under Additionals. Any questions, get in touch with us. Have a great day.